Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Rule the Waves 3, a new game out by Naval Warfare Simulations and being published by Matrix and Slytherin Games. This is a tactical and strategic war game where you're in charge of a navy from 1890 to 1970. Uh, that's the pre-Dreadnought era, the Dreadnought era, and then carrier aviation and into the missile era. Uh, this is episode number four in our Let's Play series, Playing as the Italians. And in today's video, we are going to see a large-scale fleet action, our first major fleet battle since uh, playing Rule of Waves 3. So we're going to jump right into it. We're in the middle of a war with France. Uh, our country is Italy. Uh, France has us blockaded, uh, mainly because they've got a considerable tonnage advantage, almost exclusively due to light cruisers, which I guess... If you're talking about blockading the entire boot of Italy, France would certainly need a large number of light ships. Um, I complain a little bit in the video about the blockade, but in reality, I think if France was going to blockade Italy, it wouldn't be with pre-dreadnoughts off of ports. Those ships are not designed for long, sort of prolonged blockade actions. And so this seems like a realistic way to blockade Italy, although I would say it probably is inaccurate to fleet tactics of the 1890s. It feels almost more like what you would find in the 1940s. That being said, that's enough of my musing. Let's jump into this battle. It's a major battle involving every single battleship in the Italian fleet, including a couple of newly commissioned ones, which we kind of Prince of Wailed into this fleet, the end of this battle. They hadn't finished working up. They're not fully trained. We rushed them into the battle anyway, so we could have a... Uh, good situation in terms of manpower against the the uh, French, uh, who also have a considerable number of considerable number of battleships. Um, the main French advantage, though, as I said, is light cruisers. So we'll see if that matters in this battle. And that's that's enough of that. Let's jump right back into this thing. Uh, actually, the THG class doesn't appear to be in this fight. Just the five battleships that were already there. Oh no, here they are. Which is where? Oh, I couldn't see it because... Oh, whatever, this is the THG. Or no, it's not. What the hell? I'm confused. Are these two ships on top of each other? The naming... The text here is all messed up. Why does this say THG, but then have a different name? Uh... I am confused. I only see five ships here, but then when I go over here, I see more ships. It's like they're on top of each other. That's also dangerous that they're on top of each other because ships can collide. All right. Okay, so what are we doing here? The enemy has ships down here. We've got a fleet battle. Let's turn our armored cruisers down this way. We're going to make battle speed. Battle speed for the fleet, we'll say, is 16 knots. Set everybody to 16 knots. Can you merge? I wish you could merge squadrons. Having three separate squadrons of light cruisers is kind of silly. Max minus two is actually a good command there. That would work also, except for the fact that different ships have different max speeds. But everything can make 16 knots, so we'll do that. Okay, our armored cruisers are leading the way. They're almost like a battle... Battle cruiser squadron here. The ships are heading down, and we will engage the Italian fleet. In terms of heavy ships, we might have a slight advantage, although crew quality probably less so, because I race those new battleships into combat.
Well, here's the Italian fleet coming to meet, or the French fleet coming to meet us. They're much more organized than we are. Look at this. This could you imagine seeing this fleet sail into battle? Like this would be an absolutely gorgeous sight. Just battleship upon battleship stacked up in a single line. I guess kind of what maybe Jutland looked like at a few moments in the battle, but the the British were so strung out at least initially. You probably didn't have that same sort of a situation. All right, the first shots have been fired at our light cruisers. The battle is joined. The enemy's crossing my T, but that's okay. In this era, honestly, with gunnery as bad as it is, I'm okay with that. All right, let's pause. So we're all sort of converging. I hit pause. All right. We're all sort of converging. I am going to actually have my ships sail south. So we will run past the enemy line, but going in the opposite direction. Our light ships will be to the rear, while the enemy light ships will be at closest range for us. The enemy battle line will have to turn and break up its formation to pursue. And so the fact that they're in a better line right now, hopefully this will, will prevent that from being too decisive. Their battleships shouldn't get too close to me, and I should be able to head the opposite direction of them. formation is terrible we're bound to have some collisions here all right what is this section shooting at let's shoot at this enemy ship here let us all i want to see if i can consolidate all my fire on this is the goodian class i don't see that as an option i guess we're just shooting at this division which is the same kind of objective. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're all concentrating on that division anyway. Okay, so let's move things down to slower. You can see all of the updates coming up here on the upper left. It looks like the THG had an engine room hit, but we're moving well below max speed. So that shouldn't matter as much. Was it a heavy shell, though? It was a medium. We're going to cut across their front with our armored cruisers. Ah, uh, they're going to turn away. Okay, so we will, too. wonder if I can I think the enemy line is still a little too cohesive for me to try and isolate an enemy and destroy them I would love the idea of like racing in with our light cruisers to do a torpedo attack and I'm banking on the fact that we're moving more slowly to give us an accuracy bonus Move my light cruisers a little bit more quickly, though, and see if I can get them into the fight. The Brennus seems a little exposed over here. I'd love... Maybe we can do a light cruiser charge on their battle line. Take some of the pressure off the THG class, which is also getting hit pretty hard here. Let's see if we can cross this line and get some torpedoes into them. Again, I can't... Let's actually do one thing. I can't choose to do... Oh, we're already targeting that battleship division. I can't tell them to shoot a torpedo, but I can at least get the range in close. 
They're going to turn away from me. Can we turn in toward the Brennus? Oh, our light cruisers are taking too much damage. But it'll at least throw the enemy formation into chaos. Not that my formation is in great shape either. Fire some torpedoes, guys. You're moving in real close at the enemy. Oh, there's one torpedo toward the brooks. It missed. Enemy ships. Oh, no, it did hit. Hell yeah. Enemy armored cruiser hit by a torpedo. In this era, by the way, torpedoes, a single hit can, can be enough to sink an enemy. Or at least cripple them. Enemy armored cruiser hit by a torpedo. We got two torpedo hits into the enemy. This one's going toward the Brennus, the battleship. We hit the battleship Brennus! Yeah! Man, these guys sure punched above their weight. Talk about a hell of a torpedo run. Now, if the enemy feels like, oh, they've taken too much damage and they withdraw, the enemy fleet may be more strung out. Honestly, losing these light cruisers, if we, if we get any of those enemy ships to sink, is worth it. We'll see if we can get out of there. These guys have taken quite a bit of punishment. 11 medium hits on the Iridae. One flooding. Two light hits. Eridus has suffered only five medium hits. We've used the bulk of our torpedo complement on those ships. I think the Brennus we hit is here. Meanwhile, there's two enemy battleships and an armored cruiser out here facing off against almost our entire battle line. Sending two more armored cruisers in here for a charge. The enemy has considerably more light cruisers than us, so if they were to do something like that, that would be scary. Are these ships damaged heavily? Mm. Alright, what's the damage level on this guy? 15 knots, none. Heavy damage on this Brennius class. Maybe that was the one hit by the torpedo. I lost track. Medium damage here. Light damage there. Heavy damage on that armored cruiser. Maybe we put two torpedoes into the same armored cruiser. I'm really not sure. I'm turning the Cayo Dulio and the Regina Margarita in toward this Brennus down here in the south. The enemy battle line is definitely very broken up here. The torps are all different ships. Okay, PB, thanks. The Brennus are the opposite of the uh, French armored cruisers in the sense that the French armored cruisers are really good designs. The Brennuses are not. At least I don't think they're very good. One torpedo is fired here at one of the Brennus says it didn't look like it hit. Enrico Dandolo is hit by a torpedo. Fuck. She's going to go down. Who's torpedo? One of the enemy battleships, maybe? All right, we had another Brennus with a torpedo. 70 flotation. I can't imagine she will escape. 
Rude Girl Lari is hit by a torpedo. Fuck. What is... There's no enemy light ships in here, so they are all being fired by enemy battleships, I guess. Try and escape to Syracuse and Taranto. The enemy, my port, my closest ports are between me and the enemy. All right, let's try and get those battleships behind my battle line, and I will turn. The rest of my fleet in behind. To shield them. Dandelow is going to sink, though. This Brennus is dead in the water. She's sinking. Rico Dandelo's hit by a torpedo. She was already sinking anyway, so. So I think so far it's one battleship to one battleship sinking. I'm really doing a poor job. This formation is absolute a mess. And now at this point it's just a knife fight with everybody chucking torpedoes at each other. Cruisers turn away. Varsay is hit by a torpedo. That would be my cruiser as well. It's one of my crappier older cruisers, but things started off so nice. All right, Rugero is going to sink too. So I think so far it's one battleship to two, likely. And maybe an armored cruiser. It's hard to tell. She's sinking. Heavy damage. I already knew that was going to happen. Didn't we train our guys on torpedoes? I think we did gunnery and... Or no, it was gunnery and damage control is our specialty. Those enemy battleships really uh, kind of surprised me with their torpedoes. I thought it would be more of a, a light ship game, and once we got in too close with their battleships, they, they really did use their torpedoes effectively. My armored cruisers are in, in a solid formation here and amongst the enemy line. I heard a torpedo at the Brennus down there, but it didn't hit. Ruger Lorry's high speed has increased. High speed? What are you moving at? You're moving at 13 knots. Slow down. Also, there's nowhere for you to run. Uh, can I take back over these guys? Are they in range? This, they reloaded their torpedoes, so get back in the action, guys. You were the heroes early on. So we're going to lose the Varsay. It's also dead in the water. So, so far we're at 
likely two battleships lost and one armored cruiser. The enemy, one battleship lost for sure. I'm not sure how many, if any of the other ships we torpedoed are going to sink. Something just sank. That might have been the enemy. Brennis that was sinking all along. I'm not sure. Badly damages this Brooks class. She looks heavy damage. Okay. This whole fight may end up being a draw at this rate. We haven't even touched most of their light chips. Their light chips are just sailing up here. It's almost like the light section of their fleet was split off from their battleships, but I didn't have enough light ships to really exploit that. If I had more armored cruisers or light cruisers, or not armored cruisers, if I had more light cruisers, I might have been able to do something with that. I think they're for sure going to lose this armored cruiser here, the Brooks. The whole formation is, is a mess now. Thank you for the follow, Compass. My hope was to break the blockade. I don't know if we will do that in this battle. Kalio Dulia, wasn't she badly damaged? No, she wasn't. And yet I'm sending her away from the fight. Riguro is damaged and gonna sink. Torpedoes, torpedoes, a, 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 hit him. Whoops. No. Not gonna get in close enough. Does it tell me if I, can I see what's actually been sunk so far? That armored cruiser could get away, possibly. I wish there were better fleet commands where I could just issue, like, an order to the HQ and the rest of the ships would sort of follow up. I guess if I set to AI, that would kind of happen, but... There, I do think the game's tactical control could use some work. All right, we got that armored cruiser. She's sinking. We're chasing one more Brennus battleship. We've technically for sure only lost two battleships. I shudder to think what would happen if the uh, enemy light cruisers got in amongst my, my fleet, though. Works is heavy damage, not sinking. Did they save it? Okay. All right, light cruisers, chase the Brennus and sink it. Torpedoes, now. No. 
No. You yeah, still do have some, right? You do. All right. Ruger is sinking, but we got a second Brennus. Like, I would like to just regroup everybody. Can't really do that. I guess if I maybe just gave the AI control of some of these groups that maybe they would regroup on me. So like if we gave them AI control, AI control core, uh, follow the second battle division. This is the second battle. Okay. So actually, we will control this one, pull this over here. Where's the first battle division? Where's that? But, okay. All right, so the second battle division is the lead of the fleet right now. That's these guys. Where did the THGs go? Oh, they're down here. Um, I mean, most of my battle fleet is still, I feel like they're still passable, still, still can fight more. So we sank two enemy battleships. We've lost two. Uh, we've sunk two or three enemy armored cruisers and we've lost probably one. I don't know that anything's decisive yet. That's for sure. Let's uh, speed things up just a little bit and try and see if we can get our fleet back in order. I set the ships to AI hoping they would form up, but they are not doing that. Kyo Dulio, what are you doing up here, you maniac? Don't take on the entire light formations. I mean, we kind of nominally got a little bit of a line going. This light cursor is going to sink. So trying to command more hands off from just one squadron of ships here. Does not seem to be working too well. But I don't want to close up the enemy light cruisers. And that Brennus has heavy damage. Let's try and head off the, the head of this enemy column. It seems like most of their light ships have fallen in behind their battle line. 
the lead of this battleship division is a Brennus that is apparently very badly damaged. That entire formation is moving far slower than it needs to. Not sure where Umberto is getting quite so close to the enemy. Cruisers come in here and charge in there. Are these guys in range? They are. I don't have human waves. Uh, I don't even have the destroyer technology yet. It's only 1892, 93. Let's get that rear Brennus. So much of this game, and I guess combat in this era too, that's kind of authentic, is just damaging an enemy ship enough so that you can isolate portions of their fleet and then mop up the, the survivors. There's a torpedo that looked like it went into the Brennus, but no report of a hit. Brennus is ablaze though. Let's turn back. Try and get this Brooks class armored cruiser. They got another section of battleships up here to the north. All right, so one of our light cruisers is sinking. I think that's our first light cruiser lost. I'm not too worried about them though. They've been useful in putting torpedoes in enemy ships, but they're not. Their tonnage isn't going to worry me too much. The Brennus, on the other hand, how many is she? She's 10,000 tons. That was a long-range torpedo shot by someone. Where is she sinking yet? Heavy damage and on fire. Not much damage on that Brux and heavy damage on this other Brennus class. She's dead in the water. Doesn't say she's sinking yet, though. Fleet's coming down. The Brennish ships of theirs have not been faring well. I thought it said this one had heavy damage. Now it says light damage. I've seen torpedoes fire from some of these cruisers, but... All right, guys, we got to finish off more of these ships. I'm just assuming this one up in the north is sinking because she is not moving. But we'll see. Is 
Still doesn't say she's sinking, though. Both of them are heavily damaged. I've got our one of our battleship classes coming in on close range. Hopefully she doesn't get hit by a torpedo. What a knife fight at this point. All sent like the French started off in nice pretty formations and not anymore. Everything is just a big cluster of ships. I'm wondering if some of the ships in the south aren't firing torpedo there. The Brennus sank. Okay, good. I guess the other nice thing of this battle is that our ships that were just working up should get a battle star, which I'm assuming will help with their experience levels. But we just sank, I think, our third battleship. We've lost two. We've got a fourth isolated and suffering heavy damage down here, too. But I'm wondering if our, our ships aren't firing torpedoes in part because they're too close to other friendly ships and so there's a risk of uh, friendly fire because that can happen. Damage on fire. This Brennus is also dead in the water pretty much. Still got at least three more battleships in this line here. Another Brennus, a Carnot, and a whatever that is. All right, so that Brooks is still down here. Medium damage, heavy fire. Our formation is all cut to shit. Hey guys, don't, you know... Do anything foolish. Where are you going? All right, what's going on with this ship here? Uh, nothing too bad yet. Light damage. Light damage. Okay. Heavy damage and on fire. Can I send this light cruiser in there? Go torpedo the bastard and finish him off? That's under ships north. I think this is enough. Enemy Brennus battleship is hit by a torpedo? Hell yeah. Umberto, turn away. It's almost nightfall. Which Brennus was it? Okay. That armored cruiser that's on fire is still making good speed. All right, let's just sail our fleet away. Or should we try and press it? I don't know. Wish I knew which one of these took the torpedo. Must be this one. All right, one more turn toward the enemy. It's just our, our task force is so broken up that a lot of these guys have suffered a not inconsiderable amount of damage. 
not necessarily sinking damage yet, but certainly not like, hey, no big deal. We're ready to keep fighting damage. You got two torpedoes. Go get that, Brennus. The worst battleship class in the world, perhaps. Oh, a lot of ships are going to be out of sight now. Because it's, it's, it's nighttime. Which also makes the risk of torpedoes that much greater. But it also makes the enemy's ability to coordinate on us less. So I'm kind of tempted with my non-AI ships to try and close in. Oh, shit. Here's the enemy battle line. Uh... Everything is darkness. Uh... Ships do automatically try to avoid torpedoes for what it's worth. I was trying to pursue their damaged battleship and instead I ran Helmel into the whole damn enemy fleet. Turn in there. The THG is like boxed in by enemy cruisers. A little worried it's going to hit a torpedo or something. All right, so the armored cruiser Versailles is sinking. She was badly damaged earlier in the fight. All right, we're just going to sail away. Or stokers and the whole crew is probably exhausted. Why those AI ships are sailing straight back into the enemy fleet again, I don't know. Let's try and get back to, to port now, shall we? Watch, we fight all the way through to daylight. Goyoto just sailed through the enemy line. I don't love that, like... I've had multiple cruisers just sail straight through the enemy line. That that guy took a bit of damage. You could see it slowed down remarkably. But I think I'm hoping it's over now. The different sections of the fleet seem to be trying to disengage, and that's over. Victor is France, really? The enemy lost four battleships. We lost two. We lost one armored cruiser and one light cruiser. They lost two armored cruisers. How? So we lost a total of four ships. They lost six. How are they the victor here? Sink enemy to enemy ships. Okay. That was their objective, which they did. But, 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 but we did better. I don't see any scenario where this is the result. And the... <laughs> in real life, and anyone considers this a victory for France. They lost half their battle fleet. Ugh. But, I mean, it wasn't even, the objective wasn't even, like, blockade. It was just, like, sink some undetermined enemy ship. Uh, whatever. I do think sometimes the objectives in this game where it says like sink this number of enemy ships or sink this you know number of transports or whatever and then you automatically get a victory if you do that I like it in concept because it kind of pushes you to do whatever the whatever the battle is really about um, like in the case of transport raids or, or convoy raids. But in this case, I think, I think maybe it waits, 
uh, the objective too heavily because I know Jutland, for example, the British lost more tonnage than the Germans. The Germans still claimed victory, uh, but strategically it was pretty clearly a British victory in that the Germans didn't break the blockade. I guess maybe theoretically that could happen here, but when the enemy loses half their entire battle fleet, we're not talking about a couple of battle cruisers. We're saying they lost half their entire battle fleet uh, and uh, and the and we did not and I, I to me it just feels like that should not be a French victory but I suppose that's just me having sour grapes as well anyway guys that was a major fleet action it was actually a lot of fun I slowed things down a little bit more than I usually do I typically blitz through these kind of things I think we did a good job of picking apart certain parts of their fleet although we didn't get away scot free I'm sure I could have microed it more. That's not the type of gameplay I usually have. I play on rear admiral difficulty, so that does mean that I don't have full control over every ship. I can only issue orders to ships that are in our line of sight. If you go on captain difficulty, I believe it is, then you can actually micro every ship. Uh, but in any event, uh, that's your that's your first major fleet battle. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to wrap this up here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time. This is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'm out.